Hi there. Welcome Facebook friends. Welcome vloggers. I am doing a video on basic materials that I think that are essential to a new person's SCA kit. I'm looking at basics, just something you'll probably take a couple events to work up to this. Um, but if you're serious about the SCA, these are things that I would consider as essential pieces of a kit. Um, one of the beginning things to look at is you want to cover anything modern, right? We all carry water bottles nowadays, well most of us do, um, whether it comes off the shelf of the garage, the garage uh, gas station, or you have a, a reusable. Make a cover. It doesn't matter if it's wool or linen or whatever. Fashion fabric's fine. Something that suits you, you're just making the effort to cover your modern container. That's all that matters. Um, it, it's a basic start. It's not something fancy. The other thing you're going to need is a container to carry your stuff from your car into the event and be as authentic as possible. A big basket. This used to be, I think, a uh, garbage bin for a bathroom. I cleaned it up really good. Um, I love it. I put everything in there. All of my stuff for an event will fit in there as long as I'm not taking all of my embroidery and all my crafty stuff too. So you might want a belt pouch. This is one I made. It's really roomy. Cell phone, wallet, your knife, your fan, everything will go in there. Not a big deal. If you don't want a belt pouch, which a lot of times they're fairly heavy, you put all your stuff in it and you're hanging lopsided. Um, you might want a messenger bag type bag where it goes over your shoulder so you have a little bit more weight distribution. If you have a bad back or you carry a lot of stuff in your bag, this is perfect. Um, you want a knife. Take a knife. Make sure it's in a sheath. Um, keep it sharp. You're going to need it from cutting threads to leather to your food. Knives are important. In period, you would have had a spoon and a, and a knife. You wouldn't have had a fork. So um, if you want to be as authentic as possible, you can learn to eat with just those things. I cheat. I use a fork. I need a fork, but I like a spoon. And I really like to be able to cut my meat properly. So carry a knife. In Artemisia, you cannot carry live steel on your belt if you are not an AOA. So be wary of that. Um, I also think it's essential, especially for ladies, hot or cold, summer or winter, you need a fan. Inside, they crank on the heat, and you're wearing four layers of linen and wool and all this other stuff. Take a fan. Important. Uh, to keep your pouch on, you want a leather belt. Another useful, important piece of, of, of clothing item. Uh, the other thing that I recommend, recommend are metal plates or wooden bowls wooden plates, platters. Think of before microwave. Think of dishes that you did not put in the microwave. I don't even own a microwave. Everything goes on the stove or goes in the oven. My metal plates I can use in my day-to-day -day wear if I want as well. It's, it's resourceful and I don't have 500 different things. I also recommend a pair of tall knitted socks. If you cannot get them hand knitted, there are a lot of tall sock companies online. Um, get them as 100% cotton if you can, or wool silk blends. They're soft, they're luxurious, they wear all day, and you don't sweat your bottom half out. You'll need a pair of garters to keep them up if you wear the knitted kind, because there's they, they don't have any elastic in them, so they're not going to stay up without help. Um, you can use a piece of yarn can use a piece of braided string to tie them up. I happen to have made myself a pair that have buckles and have holes for the buckles. I made these. Not everybody wants to. I've been in for a while. It's okay to start small. Uh, again, cold weather events, have a pair of mittens. Mittens are your friend. <laughs> you want your hands to be warm. The other thing in modern society that we don't use anymore, or very rarely, is you don't see anybody with a handkerchief. Probably one of the most, not irritating, but one of the most disjunct pieces I find in events is that people who have a cold and they're blowing their nose into paper tissues and throwing them in the garbage. Is not part of the society bringing back old things and being aware of our environment and being aware of the world we live in and our throwaway garbage society. 
that's how I view the SCA. I view looking at it as looking back at our ancestors and what did they do that we can do, that we should be doing to protect our earth as much as enjoying the historical aspect of our game. Um, 100% cotton or linen handkerchiefs. They're huge. You could blow your nose for all day long in this thing. Um, you fold it neatly and then you throw it in the wash. I would throw it in a hot wash. I would usually throw it in with some baking soda and a little and um, some OxyClean. Or you can do a, blend, a bleach version or a vinegar baking soda version. I use these. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. The other thing I find essential is a wrap. This is three yards of cotton um, flannel. I have used it for a tablecloth. It's been used to cover modern chairs in court. It has been used as a tablecloth more times than I can count. I've used it to wrap people up. I've used it to put down on the ground so children can play. This has been with me for more than 18 years. This three yard stretch of flannel, that's it. I never cut it up into anything. I don't need to. It is the most versatile tool I have had for years. I've been playing close to 23, 24 years now. And I've had this um, as long as my son, so 17 years, because my son is 18 going on 19, or he is 19, he's 19. So I've had this for 17 years. So get one of these. These are really important. I love them. A nasty tablecloth will not work. You want cotton flannel, it lasts forever, washes great. In women's garb, guys, you can turn off the video now because you're not going to be interested in this. This is for women. You want a piece of linen underclothing that is sleeveless, that is loose, and comes down to about below your knee. You want this. Trust me, you want this. If you don't wear a bra, if you do wear a bra, doesn't matter, you want this. This is going to protect your clothing that you're gonna spend a lot of time making. This is gonna protect your clothing from your body oils, your stench, your sweat, everything. Also, the more you wear it, it's soft, and it's like wearing a nice, fuzzy blanket, only really, really lightweight. It's like wearing a really nice lightweight handkerchief next to your skin. I love it. Wouldn't play without it. I keep making more of them because I don't ever seem to have enough. If you have the ability to go braless or wear a medieval bra made of 100% linen, do that. Since I switched to linen bras that I wear with my garb, my comfort level is beyond this. I'm never too hot. I don't feel overheated. It's amazing. You will be amazed. Um, the next layer is generally a kirtle of some sort. Late period have fitted bodice kirtles, early period they have um, some kind of underdress or kirtle dress. Um, this is a black one. It's fitted to me. So it goes over the top of the head. There's no ties, there's no zippers, there's no buttons, there's no hook and eyes. I don't have anything. I just throw it over the top of my head. Yet it actually fits me body tight. So with the undergarment and then that on, I look like I'm already dressed, but you're not dressed yet because you need an outer garment. If you were a lady, you would have worn a gown. Um, this is a 12th century undergarment and then a 12th century gown. This is what the gown looks like. It's got bell sleeves. That fits over the black kirtle. It's snug, but it's not too tight. I can breathe in it, I can move in it, I can do dishes, I can haul chairs, I can wash. Anything you need to do, you can do in that. If you want something that's cooler in the summer, you can then do a tunic, which goes over the top of that, and then you just cinch it with a belt. And this is a shorter tunic and you can see it's got higher slits on the side. So if I need to hitch that up or I don't want to wear a gown, this is a really lightweight. All of what you're seeing is linen. I have nothing wool here. This is what I can wear in the summer. In Montana, it gets up to 9,900 sometimes, um, but it's really, really dry. There's no humidity in the air. And these are the basic essentials for this type of garment. The next piece that goes with it is your coif. 
and I would heavily suggest you invest in a St. Brigida cap. That's what they're called. I don't know why they're called that. I haven't figured that part out. But they're simple. If you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of things on your head, you can get away with this. You can get away with it. There's always going to be somebody who says you have to cover everything. This you can get away with. It's a basic covering. It's not going to go anywhere. If you tie it in the back and over the top, it's a little snugger. You can tie it in the back and, and you're done. That's it. Now, if you want a proper veil and wimple process, my suggestion is get a St. Brigida cap because you will pin your veil and your wimple to your St. Brigida cap and that thing won't go anywhere. Um, it took me about five, six years to develop the head covering gear that fit my tiny head with my really slick hair, um, trying to be as historically accurate as possible without using synthetics, polyesters, all different kinds. And we in Artemisia don't wear circlets. So it was immensely unhelpful, extremely handicapping, where every video I saw on how to wear a wimple and veil, you had to wear a barbette or a circlet. I can't wear a barbette. I have a history of migraines. As soon as I put a barbette on, I have a migraine. We can't wear cir circlets and artemisia until you are basically a baroness or a laurel or something like that. So my recommendation for every old plain old Joel getting into the SCA, get a St. Brigida cap. You can also use a koi, which is another cap-like design. I have a couple. I don't wear them because they slide off my head. But this is a small koi if I made for somebody else. You can see that it's really tiny. It covers the head and it ties under the chin. First off, anything that's under the chin for me that's this tight to keep the thing on makes me feel like somebody's strangling me. So there are several coif designs. You can make them bigger. Um, I like the St. Brigida cap myself. Head covering is period. It is something that you should adjust your thoughts to for playing any persona in the SCA. There are time periods in history where they didn't necessarily cover. There's many, many Venetian Renaissance paintings where women didn't cover their hair, but they did have veils, they braided, they intricately decorated their hair, and then um, they sometimes still wore hats. So head covering is period appropriate, if not garb necessary for your playing. Um, Gents, you look amazing in hats. Women, there are so many different variations. You can cross match. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. It's fun. So that is the basic kit. Oh, I forgot one thing. Shoes. Shoes. It took me 24 years to get a pair of good shoes that I like. I actually had another pair that I also liked, but they had nails in the bottom. And I wore them for probably about three events and they fell apart. You can wear regular black Mary Jane types if you want to. You can totally get away with that. Um, it takes time to build up gear. These are $75 and I love them, but it took me 23, 24 years to get a pair. They were a gift this year for 50 year. Um, I love them and I'm gonna want another pair, but they're expensive. So my recommendation is go in shoes that are comfortable. Tennis shoes work. Wear them. If you've got sciatica, if you've got hip problems, if you have back problems, wear shoes that are comfortable. God is blessed. Don't make yourself miserable at an event. Um, find a way to play that suits your lifestyle, that suits the things that you love. Um, speaking of hats, this is a Tudor hat that I made, and I love it. I actually made it to go with a rapier outfit. But I have worn this same hat with a coif and a head, a head veil with this hat and my garb in a, on a Tudor outfit as well as a Venetian outfit. And it looks appropriate. It really does look like it fits. So take some time, look at lots of pictures, look at effigies. They're lots of fun. Um, but this is a basic kit. These are just basic things that I would highly recommend you have for any event. Thank you.